After concerns were raised from the community, Crestwood today revised their proposal to Governor Andrew Cuomo in order to store liquid petroleum gas in the salt caverns near Seneca Lake. WNY's Ryan Bells was at tonight's Schuyler County Legislature meeting where this was one of the major topics of discussion and joins us live in the studio. Ryan, what was the feeling like at tonight's meeting? Hi there, Logan. You could cut the tension with a knife during tonight's meeting, especially after the Schuyler County Legislator approved with a vote of 6-2 to two, a resolution to renew their support of Crestwood's project after their revised proposal today. Monday evening, Schuyler County Legislature meeting was packed to capacity as over 50 residents came out to voice their thoughts on Crestwood's revised proposal to store liquid petroleum gas in the salt caverns near Seneca Lake. In their revised proposal to Governor Andrew Cuomo, Crestwood voluntarily decided to eliminate truck and rail transportation, the storage of butane, decrease the amount of LPG being stored by 29 percent, and the elimination of a brine pond. The agenda for the Schuyler County Legislature meeting included a resolution supporting Crestwood's community-driven plan. After over 30 minutes of public comment, an amendment to the resolution, and passionate discussion, it was time to vote. In a vote of 6-2, to two, the Schuyler County Legislature renewed their support of Crestwood's LPG project. This resolution does not allow Crestwood to proceed with their plan. This has been a long, uh, drawn-out effort. We're, we're seven years into this. You asked earlier what the timeline is. We don't know what the timeline is because, unfortunately, they're, they're, you know, we have no recourse from a, from a state regulatory. They're under, they're under no particular deadlines on timing. You know? Monday evening's vote was not without opposition, though, as some members of the public think there are under-the-table deals happening. The legislature has always been in support of this project. We're not exactly sure why, but we do believe that there is a conflict of interest. Dennis Fagan is uh, a former owner of Fagan Engineering. He established that firm. And Fagan Engineering has a contract with uh, an affiliate of Crestwood for millions of dollars. So in our opinion, we believe that his uh, support of this project is a complete conflict of interest and it's it's a biased opinion. Some in the audience are also concerned about the worst case scenario. What if, what if it, the worst does happen? Are you all prepared to take that risk? Because I know the insurance isn't going to cover this. No. It will not cover contaminants. So are you all prepared for that? Because I'm concerned that uh, uh, the applicant may uh, close up their tent and leave. And uh, I didn't want to see that happen. Do you think this was a step forward to be able to keep them? Well, it certainly, I think, is their, if you want to, uh, probably their last best shot at trying to get approval from the state. Crestwood has to receive approval from the governor, but Governor Cuomo has to await a decision from the administrative law judge as to who can make the necessary approvals in the absence of the state geologist. Reporting in the studio, Ryan Bells, WENY News. All right, thank you so much, Ryan.